Hello, my name is Enid debarna Laban. I'm a volunteer here at the Food Bank of South Jersey. And today we're going to make a meatless sweet potato chili. Okay. Our ingredients today that we're going to use are olive oil, of course the sweet potato with the skin on, we have diced garlic, green peppers and onions. We have diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, black pepper, chili powder, and we have pinto beans. Uh, these pinto beans have been pre-cooked and drained, and we're also using kid canned kidney beans. Uh, so what we're going to use here today is a mixture of both. Okay, first we're going to get started. I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil, which should be enough to cover the bottom of the pan. I'm going to add in the green peppers onions and garlic. I'm going to saute this for approximately three minutes until all the vegetables begin to sweat. Then we're going to add the diced tomatoes. Just a note here, we're going to get a lot of the moisture for our chili from the tomatoes, the diced tomatoes and the tomato sauce. And after we get every all the vegetables coated with the tomato products, we're going to add our sweet potato with the skin on, which of course gives us a good source of fiber and vitamin A. A tablespoon of chili powder and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. well. Make sure everything is covered with the chili powder and the black pepper. We're going to bring this to a boil. After we bring it to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat. We're going to cook this over a low heat and let it simmer for 30 minutes. Uh, what I do with the beans is I let this cook for 20 minutes and then I add my beans 10 minutes before the end product to give me a firmer bean. I like a firm bean. And after we, after this begins to boil, reduce the heat, make sure you cover it and cook on the low heat. Sweet potato chili is absolutely delicious. We have our beans for added fiber. We have our vegetables. We have our sweet potato for vitamin A and our tomato products for vitamin C. And what I like to do is top my chili with my favorite cheddar cheese. And I also can serve it with tortilla chips you can also top it with sour cream and you can also serve it with brown rice for added extra fiber. So here we have our final product, our vegetarian chili. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.